Stop the Bleeding is made possible by Shire. Don't worry, it's just an office visit. There's nothing to be scared of. Ah! Ah! That has to stop. I was diagnosed with Von Willenbrand's disease. She always has heavy periods. I mean, I have heavy periods, but we tough it out. That's what we do. Sheila would ask me what to do, what do I know? It's okay, Mom. I would tell her, do what I do, tough it out. And if you can't, just stay home. I mean, it happens. But things got really bad and she would skip her classes and these are classes that she loves, like chemistry and English lit, that's her major. It wasn't a big deal, I only missed a few classes. How many and how often? About seven to eight days a month. In college, that's about half your class schedule. On the phone, you mentioned you had a scary moment last week. That's actually how I got diagnosed. What happened? Go ahead, sweetheart. I fainted. M my period was going on for days all through finals, and I came home and just... Sheila came home from break. She walks in and says, Mom, I feel weak. And then just, boom, right there on the living room floor. They ran some tests at the hospital, and they said it was uh, Mino, Mino... Uh... Menoraja, heavy period. Menorrhagia is actually one of the most common indicators of a bleeding disorder in women. Right, a bleeding disorder. That's what they tested her for finally, and so here we are. This must be a lot to take in. It's all my fault. Mom. You're right. I love her so much. She's shy and she hates when I run my big mouth. Mom. See? Do you all mind if our cameras follow you around? We would really like to show people what your first HTC visit uh, looks and feels like when you're diagnosed with von Willebrands. Sure. Absolutely. Yes, absolutely. Had I taken my bleeding more seriously, then my baby would not be going through this. I'm hoping that what we're doing will help other parents because what I did made my baby. Mom! Okay, Bernice, if I can get you to fill out the contact info. I should have called this sooner. Everyone should have caught this sooner. I'm the worst mother in the world. No, I'm a super. A superintendent? I can help you with that light fixture. That's not necessary. I think we can concentrate on the paperwork. And yeah, so you want them people who like to say no just to be polite, but you really won't help, but you're just too proud to ask. Go make me offer like six times before you say yes? Because I don't have time. I would love it if you fixed the light. How do you feel? Honestly, honestly, I, I'm just overwhelmed. I get it, I do. What's your menstrual cycle been like? How severe and how often? I'm usually using two pads and a tampon and I have to change that every hour for seven or eight days a month. So you're obviously pretty skilled at the whole multiple pad plus tampon thing. I'm a total pro at this point. <laughs> One of the goals we'll pursue is trying to reduce the effects of the heavy bleeding, so you won't have to be such a pro. How do you do that? Uh, one of the more common approaches is to write a prescription for you to take the pill. Are you familiar with that? I'm not really sexually active. I've kind of put that whole thing on hold because... Uh... I totally get it. It's not uncommon to feel insecure about intimacy when you worry about heavy periods and bleeding. Right. The pill is often prescribed because it's pretty effective at reducing bleeding to a normal level. So, intimacy aside, we see it as a way to just bring some control back to your life. Wow. Just hearing the word control is so good. Just a loose wire needing some attention. Wow, Bernice, that's amazing. Thank you so much. All right, so we can get back to this paperwork. Looks like that bulb been struggling for a long time with that loose wire not giving it what it needed, poor thing. Poor neglected little light bulb. All it wants to do is shine its little light on the world. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This little Normally, I don't condone talking to inanimate objects, but she's clearly working something out. Hey. Hello. <laughs> Mom says you're shy. I don't know. I'm not. No kidding. I kind of like to talk a lot. It's kind of my thing. <laughs> okay. 
Oh no, that's just my skeleton buddy. That's Bonesy McBones. He's harmless. <laughs> I think. Okay. Do you want like a Twizzler or some juice or water? Twizzler? No, I'm not a little kid. I'm so sorry, I didn't mean anything by that. No, it's okay. I, I, I get it. Uh, I came in with my mom. I'm not really a talker. It's just, I'm 19 and I'm in college and I feel like I should be able to handle this like an, an adult, but I'm just so, it's like, who am I? I thought I knew who I was and then I'm told that I've had this disease all my life. I have so many questions. What else don't I know? And you start there. You start right there with that question. What else don't I know? Do you know what HTC stands for? Hemophilia Treatment Center, but I don't even get that because I have bumble burns. And see, that is a perfect question. Hemophilia is this severe bleeding disorder that has gained the community's attention and resources for generations, even though von Willebrand's has been proven to be far more of a common disease. So guess what? People are now recognizing and talking about their lack of knowledge. And they're asking the question, what don't I know? And that, my dear, is where we begin. There are things known, and there are things unknown. And in between are the doors of perception. Aldous Huxley, English lit major, <laughs> boom. Uh <-huh>. <laughs> Bernice, <laughs> I think we should really get back to the paperwork. Look at this rust. This leak could have been dealt with years ago. There is no measuring the damage done to these pipes from neglect. Look at these pipes up under here, alone. Just trying to get you folks your water. Like a bridge over troubled waters, I will lay me down like... You actually put the WD-40 on the hinges before you hear the squeaking. Thank you. I promise I will. So, how are you feeling? Uh, the biggest unknown for me right now, so obviously the scariest question to ask, what will it feel like to have VWD forever? It's new now, so I have all this new information to focus on, but what will it be like later in life? Every day, forever. <laughs> I was thinking the same thing. What are you ladies doing tonight at 8 p.m.? What was your first indication of a bleeding disorder? It took me about 15 years to even find out. No one else in my family has any kind of bleeding disorder. Well, all the women in my family have heavy periods, but they were never diagnosed. A lot of the time, people who are newly diagnosed feel like they're the only people out there with von Willebrandt's or hemophilia. But there's actually a wide variety and a big community of people you can reach out to and spend time together so you're not so alone and you can lean on them. Well, I remember one time when I was back at my hematologist's office and I was wondering how my being a carrier was going to affect having kids. And when he told me that there was a 50% chance my kids would also be carriers, um, I was kind of shocked. I wasn't expecting that news. And how did you feel? Um, I was kind of upset and worried about how their quality of life was going to be when they were growing up. The first thing you should do is talk to your hematologist to see what kind of protocol he wants you or your child or whomever is diagnosed is on. And the best thing I think you can do is find a support group so you can be with other families that are dealing with exactly what you are dealing with. So my advice would be to find the support group and start asking questions and that no, everything's going to be fine. It's scary, I know. It's how I felt when I first got my diagnosis. But if you face this thing head on, you can live a better life. The best advice that I can give is to be your own advocate. Do the research, do the homework, and ask as many questions as you can. It's not uncommon to be diagnosed later on in life. Is anyone comfortable sharing when they were diagnosed? I was 15. 20. I was 22. 
Well, I was 30 when I was diagnosed. Wow. Yeah, the doctors didn't know what it was, so for a long time we did nothing. I was just so relieved to finally know. That's kind of how I feel. I always felt like there was something wrong with me, but I could never put my finger on it. Knowing makes me feel like, like a full person, like me. I would say that we have to be like our own advocates because Von Willebrand's really doesn't get the attention that it deserves. Mostly I would say we need to connect with each other because there's strength in numbers. Bye, I'll call you. Got a bright bulb there. You see what I did? You know, bulb, like from earlier? She's a good kid, Bernice, you done good. And you have all the tools you need for the job ahead. Thank you, Dr. Young. You see what I did there? Yeah, tools. It's a pun. You know, because she brought her tools when she fixed the light and the sink. It's a joke. <laughs>